Reeling from two straight losses, Ledger didn't get off to the start they were looking for Friday night, with a bad snap on a punt giving Griswold excellent field position early in the first quarter. The Wolverines took advantage right away with junior quarterback Adam Davis scampering for the pylon in a 7-0 lead. Ledyard, traditionally a run-focused team, found their rhythm on offense in the air as John Ray connected with Chris Turner for a long game. We were certainly run heavy early in the year, um, but I think we're starting to build some balance, and that's going to be important for us down the, uh, the stretch here. I don't know, Kyle the coach, I've been throwing a lot more. I mean, I'm liking it. At the start of the second, Ledyard faced a fourth and goal from the four. Rainey rolled out and hit fullback Chevy Perry to tie the game. Oh yeah, it was counter pass. Guy came up hard. He threw it. He came up. No one was on Chevy, and we just tossed it to him. Big play. Turned the like the momentum of the game completely towards us. They didn't score after that. We kept scoring, kept scoring, uh, kept driving the ball down the field. We kept the momentum going the entire game. We tried. After giving up the early score, the Colonel defense kept the Wolverines off the board the rest of the game. Uh, our defensive motto is three and out, so we just constantly try to keep them three and out and uh, we just fly around and hit. You know, defense is, is really you know, what we've always hung our hat on and, and to see our defense come back tonight and, and play the way we did, I was very happy with that. Oh, they played phenomenal. Um, that's Ledger defense, hitting hard, coming off the edge, tackling. At the start of the third quarter, Ledger running back Darnay Gray broke free for a big game, bringing the ball down to the five and setting up a touchdown pass from Rainey to Jordan Kowalski that made the score 14-7. Griswold's next drive was cut short when Kyle Perry came off the edge to strip the ball from Davis. I thought tonight defensively for the first time in two weeks we dictated the game plan on the defensive side of the ball and uh, that's important to our success. With the Griswold defense forced to respect the pass, Rainey drops back and hands off to Jojo Shoemaker who goes up the middle to make the final score 21 to 7. Uh, it means a lot like we've been working harder in practice and uh, we didn't want to make something special out of this year. And we've had a couple losses, then we have to just come back and get wins. Feels great. Like, honestly, I heard a couple kids talking about, like, uh, one kid was saying he was going to quit if we went uh, two and three, if we lost today. And then uh, we finally got a little, we got our feet under, back under our feet and uh, finally. Uh, got to win. We certainly have improved and, and that's the most important thing. If we can look at each week and say we've improved from the, from the prior uh, and move forward and win a football game, uh, you know, that, that, that's the most important thing when it's all said and done. And, and so I'm happy for the guys. I thought they played real well on the defensive side of the ball. We did enough on offense, you know, to win a game. Uh, and I think our uh, improvement was there, you know, from last week to this week. So, um, you know, it, it just continues.